Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday, August the 24th. Today is the Feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Give to the Lord the glory and strength. Give him the honor due his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Our Old Testament reading this morning is from 1 Kings chapter 5. Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father, for Hiram always loved David. And Solomon sent word to Hiram, You know that David my father could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him, until the Lord put him under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. And so I intend to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord said to David my father, Your son, whom I will set on your throne in your place, shall build the house for my name. Now, therefore, command that cedars of Lebanon be cut for, for me, and my servants will join your servants, and I will pay you for your servants such wages as you set. For you know that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidonians. As soon as Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, who has given to David a wise son to be over his great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I am ready to do all you desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into rafts to go by sea to the place you direct. And I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it and you shall meet my wishes by providing food for my household. So Hiram supplied Solomon with all the timber of cedar and cypress that he desired, while Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food for his household, and 20,000 cores of beaten oil. Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year, and the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon drafted forced labor out of all Israel, and the draft numbered 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month in shifts. They would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of the draft. Solomon also had 70,000 burden bearers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's 3,300 chief officers who were over the work, who had charge of the people who carried on the work. And the kings, at the king's command, they quarried out great costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the men of Gabal did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. Our writing today is from Gregory of Nazin, Nazanzus. Consider by St. Paul's example how important a matter is the care of souls the manifold character of his ministry. Consider his loving kindness and, on the other hand, the strictness and combination and blending of the two in such way that his gentleness could, should not weaken nor his severity exasperate. On behalf of some he gives thanks, others he upbraids. Some he names his joy and crown, others he charges with folly. 
some who hold a straight course he accompanies, sharing in their zeal. Others who are going, uh, going wrong he checks. At what time he excommunicates, at another he confirms his love. At one time he grieves, at another rejoices. At one time he feeds with milk, at the other he handles mysteries. At one time he condescends, at another he raises to his own level. At one time he threatens a rod, at another he offers the spirit of meekness. At one time he is haughty toward the lofty, at another lowly toward the lowly. Now he is least of the apostles, now he offers proof of Christ speaking to him. Now he longs for departure and is being poured forth as a libation. Now he thinks it is more necessary for their sakes to abide in the flesh. For he seeks not his own interests, but those of his children whom he has begotten in Christ by the gospel. This is the aim of all his spiritual authority, in everything to neglect his own in comparison, comparison with the advantage of others. And once again, today is the Feast of St. Bartholomew. St. Bartholomew, or Nathaniel as he is called in St. John's Gospel, was one of Jesus' first twelve disciples. His home was in the town of Cana in Galilee, John 21.2 where Jesus performed his first miracle. He was invited to become one of the twelve by Philip, who told him that they had found the Messiah in the person of Jesus of Nazareth, John 1.45. Bartholomew's initial hesitation to believe because of Jesus' Nazareth background was quickly replaced by a clear, unequivocal declaration of faith. You are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel, John 1.49. He was present with the other disciples, John 21, 1-13, when they were privileged to see and converse and eat with their risen Lord and Savior. According to some early church fathers, Bartholomew brought the gospel to Armenia, where he was martyred by being flayed alive. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, merciful and holy Bridegroom, we grieve the fall of your church. It is our fault that the beauty of your bride is no longer recognized. Therefore, we pray you, give and increase in us faith, love, and hope in you. Root out of us all sins and vice, all strife, all disbelief, all error and heresy. Rebuke the erring, convert the unbelievers, bring the rebellious again to the unity of the Christian church, and show them the light of your truth. Protect our shepherd from all danger of body and soul. Bless all pastors and those who administer in the church and the building of your congregation. Grant them success in all things. Equip your whole church with the power and proof of the holy faith. Stand by your witnesses among the nations and further the course of your gospel in all the world. Fill all government with the fear of you and let their ruling serve to foster and preserve peace. Have mercy on our people and our country. Let the youth be brought up in discipline and in a right knowledge of you, so that they may recognize your law and the way of your salvation. Give constancy and loyalty to all pious teachers. Comfort all the troubled and sorrowful. Impart health of body and soul to the sick. Grant to all pregnant women, according to your mercy, a happy result in their childbearing. To the needy, give bodily and spiritually according to your good pleasure. Let those who travel be commended to the protection of your holy angels and be a strong help to all who need you. For the sake of your holy wounds, O Jesus. Amen.
Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, chose Bartholomew to be an apostle to preach the blessed gospel. Grant that your church may love what he believed and preach what he taught. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.